Good to meet you. You're Luke? Yes. Good to meet you. All right, man. Good Perfect. to say hello. Hello. And we, we've got a little bit of a, a limit on time, but uh, let's 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 hit it hard. Looks like you're in a car, and anyway, so let, you know. Um, so let, I I've I've read your deck. I know a, a, a little bit about the company, but I just want to hear it straight from you. Give me the short version of the uh, of of the pitch. Sure. Yeah, basically, everybody's calling us the Uber for photos. That's what it comes down to. We're a crowdsourcing platform to get real-time photos anywhere in the U.S. So the idea initially started um, in the real estate field for the last uh, 15 years now. So there's a constant need for up-to-date photos. Uh, so we're just speeding that process up and uh, getting the real estate and tech, uh, insurance industry uh into the future where it should be. It's been uh, lagging for quite some time. So simply what we're doing, uh, we've got people using it for private purposes. Uh, if you want to see if a bar is packed or not, you can request a photo. Uh, if you, anything you want, if you could drop a pin on a map, we can get you a photo. That's what it comes down to. And people get paid for taking those photos on the gig economy. As we know, it's going to be, I think, 42% by 2020 of the entire workforce. So simply put, it is the future. So, so the, um, the, the, I love this, the concept that you're, you're going to, you're thinking about going out to a place. You don't want the place that you can't get into. So, Hey, can somebody take a pic of the inside of, of such and such, um, uh, bar, right? You got and it. Now the, how do you, uh, like, you've got to get a lot of users, I guess. Right. I mean, obviously Uber didn't have drivers all over. So do you start geographically? What, how, how does it work? Uh, so we initially did want to start geographically, but uh, a lot of the enterprise clients uh, that we were going after, uh, they needed a national presence immediately. So unfortunately, that was out the door. Um, as of okay. last week, we hit 10,500 users. So we're growing at a good pace. Uh, it's still not fast enough, but uh, as we start loading enterprise clients on like we are now, um, I think word will spread quite quickly because it is a potential to make some easy money very quickly. Yeah. So... Uh, so now, so ten and ten and a half thousand users. The, are these people willing to pay for the picture, or are these people taking the pictures, or both? Uh, it's a mixture of both, but uh, the great majority are the people willing to take photos. I'd say about eighty percent are photo takers, um, and we're expecting that number to continue to increase, where we're going to have more users as photo takers because the majority of the requests will be coming from. Enterprise clients being insurance companies, mortgage companies, uh, FEMA as an example. So I know you're in Florida. So that's yep. just another great use for it, where if you're filing for an insurance claim, anything like that, opposed to having a typical inspector go out there, um, all they need is a couple of photos with the geo code, which is what we do to verify if a tree fell on your house or not. Gotcha. So, so now, did the price of the pictures change then? An insurance company is going to pay more than a guy wants to see the bar, I assume. Very different. For, so for individual users, you're paying $5 per image, and the person taking it receives $3.25 per image. If you're an enterprise customer, it varies drastically because it depends on the amount of photos you're requesting. We could tie a questionnaire into the form. Uh, it's a very recent build-out, so if you need to know – is there a for sale sign? Is there damage on the house? Things like that. We can incorporate a form into there. And it comes down to volume also. If the client's ordering 100 requests, their pricing won't be that great. But if you've got 10,000 requests every month, we will discount that pricing. Yeah. So I, I can imagine, let's take an insurance situation. Is there some kind of a, like would an insurance person need a certification or, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, they're making, they're going to issue claims. They're going to do this or that. How do they ultimately rely on, oh, someone's taking this picture? I'm just thinking, is sure. there a higher level position that somebody is has a, a code of ethics or something? Yeah, so right now uh, we have anybody with a cell phone qualifies to download the app and make some money. Uh, we are working on tier two users, so we're adding profiles into the app right now where you have any kind of real estate license, uh, contractor's license, appraiser, things like that. You'd then be considered a tier two user. You could get additional jobs that pay more, and we're working on uh, interior inspections by the first quarter of next year, and that's what's going to be the big game changer here. You know, I mean, a bank could say, I need 15 pictures of the house, one from the street, 
uh, one of the living room, one of this, the basement, the backyard, you know, they or give you a profile of what they want. Somebody could go around, get all those pictures, send them. And it's in, these are for, for many different applications. So, so are you getting some professional uh, users like this at this point? That was the initial tier of users. Uh, we explored the uh, real estate community first, since that's where we have uh, a lot of uh, light work in. And that was the first base of users, but then we needed to grow that base as quick as possible. So we're reaching out to anybody. Uh, we're going with a very similar crowd of uh, Uber type drivers. So anybody with a phone qualifies. So basically if you're walking to get a coffee, you have the potential to take a photo on the way and have a free coffee on us, basically. That's the game plan here. Okay. So I, I, and th now this, this is throwing a little maybe curveball at you, but um, so I'm in the video business. Um, I need a camera crew to go get a testimonial. Can, can, can this also uh, be applicable for someone to go get a 30 second video or is it just photos? Right now we're doing photos. Uh, we have the capability for video. We don't want to make those videos too long because of the file transfer. Uh, right. But I'll tell you this, once 5G goes live next year, um, we will have no limits. Um, it'll be very different. Okay. So, because, you know, there's many applications in that video side that, that I can, that I can think of that could just dovetail right along very nicely. So, Oh yeah. Uh, we have so, the capability. So if there was yeah. a need right now, we could enable video. Um, we'd want to keep it, you know, under two minutes, I'd say for the lag uh, of uploading, yeah. but yeah, we do have the capability currently if there was a need. Okay. Do you have any income yet or is it just getting started? We do have income and we are in the process of boarding, uh, boarding multiple enterprise clients. And that's where the majority of that income will come. So right now it's been individual users, individual brokers, insurance brokers are using it. Um, and now October is actually the first time that we're loading real enterprise clients for that income level will grow significantly. And um, how much have you invested to get it to this point so far? Uh, we're getting close to a quarter million right now. Okay. Well, that's and that's friends and family kind of thing. Uh, me. Most of, <laughs> me. Okay, good. Well, I like that even. Yeah. Better. <laughs> okay. It's, it's good to know that the entrepreneur like yourself is committed. And yes. uh, where, where are you based? Chicago. Chicago. Oh, good. We got an office up there. So um, I, um, I think, uh, you know, if you can simultaneously get traction around the country, which is what potentially we could bring to the table here. You, I know you're looking for capital also. Um, I want to talk about that in a second, but it's, it, you know, I'm just wondering if there is, a, you know, a kind of a test market that could be more powerful. I mean, has Chicago been a, a natural place for you to start or has it just gone viral outside Chicago too? It's gone to every major city. So I'll put it this way. Uh, if there's a request in a major city for at least two photos or more where that user gets at least uh, $6, uh, we're completing 88% of those requests within uh, six hours right now. Um, the typical inspection companies, there's three to four real national inspection companies. They have the old traditional model. It takes them five to 30 days. Uh, with our patent, we're able to cut that down to a matter of hours. Um, and that's where it's really going to change things for multiple industries. Yeah. So let's see. And then you know, people, when they take the picture, they, they all rights pass on to the person that they've taken payment for. Is that a legal process now? Cause it, you know, I don't want to don't, you know, I'm sure you've thought about that, right? Yep. So the rights to the photo are to the requester along with proxy pics have rights to that photo. Yeah. And is, are there any issues with any like taking pictures of proprietary um, you know, logos or images or, you know, anything like that. What, you know, if you take a picture of McDonald's in the background or something, are there any legal liabilities? Not right now, because all that we're doing are exterior photos from public places. Um, and that's why we have no issues with any of that. Once we start um, going into the interiors of properties, businesses, things like that, uh, we've had merchandising companies reach out with interest for merchandising audit purposes. Um, that's, we'll have to take another look at that legally, but right now it's all exterior in public. Okay. Super. Uh, I, 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 uh, I would say this Luke, number one, congratulations on pulling this together. I, I, I think you've got a great business idea. I like the fact that you put a couple hundred plus thousand of your own dollars into this. I like the fact you're Chicago based. We've got a connection there. Um, we've, you know, taken 
quite a few pitches here over the months on Pitch Investors Live. This is the platform for folks like yourself to connect with investors like me to, you know, to, to, to take uh, this to the next level. And I will say that this, this is, is one of the, one of the top uh, ideas that I, that I've seen. And I, and I really like what, uh, what you're doing and think there may be some, some very powerful things that myself and my team can bring to the table. Um, one of which will be immediately a face-to-face meeting next week in Chicago with one of my top guys. So, um, so I think, um, you know, the goal here is make a pitch, get some money, get some Rolodex effect. You know, why do people go on Shark Tank? They want to get money. They want to open up the Rolodex. And, um, you know, I think from our side, both of those are possibilities. And, um, and absolutely, from a Rolodex standpoint, I think we've, we have tremendous uh, connections to help take this to the next level. On the, on the tech side, how tight are you on the tech? Is it, I, I have not had a chance to check out the tech. I've only seen your deck so far. Sure. Uh, tech's working. We keep improving it uh, with every you know, client meeting or uh, feedback that we get from the users. We're constantly improving it, uh, but it is functional. It's been live for about four months and uh, it's in use currently. So no issues, um, but yeah, we're constantly adding to it. So, okay, uh, great. Yeah. So what I'd like to do my partner from Chicago is flying into St. Petersburg, Florida tonight. Um, I've got a, a meeting with him tomorrow. I'm going to get him on this first thing tomorrow. I'm going to get you guys together. You need to get back to the folks on Pitch Investors Live. Let them connect you to me. I will connect you to my partner to have a meeting next week. And, um, you know, this is something that, you know, within it, it takes a couple of weeks for all these things to happen. But um, we're going to we're going to see if we can pull something together here over the next 30 days. How about that? Sounds like a plan. OK, super. Well, listen, I'm going to say uh, I'll let you get back to your driving or whatever it is you're doing there in your car. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm back to an event I'm doing it at the, the Sheraton Sand Key in sunny Florida here. So um, nice. great meeting you by, uh, uh, you know by our app here and thanks sure. for for putting this together and let's see if we can pull something together here in the next 30 days sounds good kevin good talking thanks, to you Talk soon. take care thank you bye-bye see you